Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about Java program to print the area and perimeter of a circle. So area of a circle is equal to pi r square where pi value is nothing but 3.14 r is nothing but radius. So 3.14 into radius into radius is nothing but area of a circle and perimeter of a circle is equal to 2 pi r pi is nothing but 3.14 r is nothing but radius 2 into 3.14 into radius is nothing but perimeter of a circle so by using this uh, two formulas we have to find out the area and perimeter of a circle now we have to write the program java program to print the area and perimeter of a circle so here the radius value can be entered by the user from the keyboard now to read the radius value from the keyboard, we have to use the scanner class. So, scanner class is used for reading the input from the keyboard. So, that first we have to import the scanner class. So, scanner class is available in util package. Okay. First, we have to import the util package import java dot util dot scanner so here scanner is a class that is available in the util package so that we have to import the scanner class from the util package for reading the input from the keyboard in the scanner class s is a capital letter next one we have to create one class the class name is circle circle in the class name circle first letter should be a capital letter so in the circle c is a capital letter next we have to write the main method public static void main spring args arguments so this is the main method in java program every java program execution starts with the main method okay here string is a, a class so that the first letter in the string S should be a capital letter. Next one, we have to create the object for the scanner class. Scanner SC is equal to new scanner system dot in. So here system dot in is used for reading the input from the keyboard scanner system dot in is a constructor new is a operator sc is a object reference and a scanner is a class next we have to enter the radius value from the keyboard so that system dot out dot print ln enter radius value enter radius value now here double r is equal to sc dot next double 
50 dot next double so whatever the value that are entered from the keyboard that value is a string data type value so to convert this string data type value into double data type we have to use next double method this next double method is available in the scanner class after converting the string data type value into double data type value that value is stored in variable r the data type of variable r is double next one double area is equal to 3.14 into r into r next one double perimeter is equal to 2 into 3.14 into r so here we have to calculate the area of a circle and we have to calculate the perimeter of a circle so area and perimeter are the double data types now we have to print the area of a circle and the perimeter of a circle system dot out dot println area of a circle is plus area next system dot out dot println perimeter of a circle is plus perimeter now we have to close the main method and we have to close the class okay so this is the simple program for finding out the area and the perimeter of a circle okay now we have to save the program with the class name the class name is circle circle dot java c is a capital letter circle dot java so already the name is there so that we have to replace that name next once we are saving that here the name is there circle dot java it is stored in d drive now we have to run the program compile the program and run the program so java c circle dot java the program is successfully compiled now we have to run the java program java circle enter the radius value i am entering the radius value from the keyboard is 7 then what is the area of a circle so area of a circle is 153.86 and perimeter of a circle is 43.96 save once again i am compiling the program and run the program enter the radius value i am giving 14 then 
area of a circle is 615.44 and perimeter of a circle is 87.92 so this is the program output and this is the program so thank you thank you one and all for watching this video if you like this video please click on the like button and click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel after subscribing my youtube channel divela srinivasa rao if you have any doubts please put your doubts in the comment section i will clarify your doubts thank you thank you one and all for watching this video please forward this video to your friends and classmates